Now that we've completed our neighborhood map, step number four says we're going to complete our contact list. So if you turn in your handout to the contact list, what we're going to do now is match the contact information in each of our houses with our contact map. So coming back, who lives in house number one? Excellent. Let's get your contact information here. If you will tell us your name, any children's names. The final thing that we need to do now is capture those in our neighborhood that we're not going to want to forget when the disaster occurs. These are our neighbors with specific needs. It includes people that are elderly, any that may have disability, and children who might be home alone at certain times of the event. So think about all of us that are here and those of us who may not be here that we will not want to forget. This is the Francis Scott in our neighborhood. This is the children who might be home alone at the time of the earthquake. Who do we know that we want to capture on our contact list in the grayscale boxes? Pause the DVD and match the home you have labeled number one on the map with number one on the contact list. Who lives in house number one? Write their names on the contact list. Do the same for the entire neighborhood. Finally, in the gray boxes, write the names of those who may need extra help during disasters. This includes neighbors who are elderly, neighbors with disability, and children who may be home alone. You have 15 minutes to complete these tasks. Pause now.